so today we're going to change the weather stripping on this garage door here. Let me show you the bottom. We're going to replace that bottom seal. Try to get rid of that gap right there. And also right there. If you look at the weather stripping here, in time it starts to shrink and the rodents start to chew on it. So it should be out to there. So we're going to replace this. And at the end I'll show you how we can try to prevent this from shrinking. We're going to try to fold this into itself. And hopefully that's a good solution there. And that whole piece is coming down. So the most important thing changing the weather strip is to get the right piece that fits your garage door. So let me show you. So there's actually quite a few different types of weather strip for your garage door. We carry two types and you can see the difference. One is a little bigger than the other. And the thing is, it has to fit into this retainer. This is a piece of the bottom of the door. And this piece fits in the groove here like so, it slides in with this side, like so, and the door. Now this one, which is smaller, can slide in, but it's loose, so it's easily could come out of here. So you want to get the right piece when you do your garage door. And wood garage doors have a different type. This is for steel garage doors. And some of them, the retainer and the weather strip are actually attached together. So you have to replace the whole retainer and the vinyl piece. But on a lot of them, you can just replace this because this piece is attached to the bottom of the door. So if you get your door about halfway or a little higher or whatever your level of comfort is, see, you're going to try to get it out of the side of the track there. There's the track. So on either this side or the other side, whichever you're more comfortable, we're going to pull this out of there, like this. Grab this here. Pull it out. You see a lot of dust and debris, so it's a good idea to wear a mask to protect you from all that dirt and dust. And just pull this out of here. Now if you look, we have a retainer, you want to make sure there's no damage on that retainer because it'll prevent your thing from sliding in, little spider. So we're going to slide the new one in and it's going to go in these things here. You just want to check these corners for damage here. They're bent, you want to unbend them so your new weather strip slides in there easily. Also a thing you can use is soap and water. If you soap and water the, the weather strip, it slides on easier. You snap a vice grip under one of the rollers or above, whichever, to keep the door from moving up or down and keep it in the position you want. See, so our door will stay right there for me to put the weather strip on it. Or you can get this weather strip in it on the side here, on the side of the track. Just feed it into the retainer. Like so, it slides in like so. You gotta hold this end up, other guy gets jammed. This slides in. Spray some soap and water along the retainer and on the weather strip. It'll help it slide better. And we're gonna slide this through. And you just gotta work it through. 
nice to have an extra set of hands to hold this other hand while you pull this out, but you don't just got to deal with this. Doesn't always slide in this easily. Usually you get a lot of trouble getting stuck. But if the retainer is nice and clean and lubed, it slides in real nice. Sometimes you have to go over here and pull on it. Then you have to go back over here and adjust it again. And so now here, that's the end of the weather strip. We can either cut this or try to fold this in like this, and then hopefully that prevents it from shrinking down in time. But if you fold it in, you have to make sure you fold it in good because you don't want this coming out because if this comes out and sticks out too much, It'll get caught on one of the tracks or the bolts or something and it'll just pull out. So that's the thing to have this almost a little bit past the door like that. So if you can see that side, see I tucked it into itself. You want to make sure it's tucked in good so that it doesn't come out. You can also fill this hole with foam or something in case if you have a gap on one of the corners you can fill it and it'll be more rigid and stick out so it seals the floor better. And this side, fold this one in. There we got the whole bottom piece on now. Let's see how that seal looks. 